Good morning, awesome people. Snick to the plus. It's uh, February 17th. How are y'all doing out there? Um, got out of, um, kept a routine for a couple weeks of doing a podcast and a video earlier in the week and then getting my newsletter out. But this week, Monday was Valentine's Day. And it was my anniversary, and so Monday and Tuesday we both took off and celebrated our anniversary. If you look at my Instagram or Facebook, you can see some pictures how my wife broke the internet because um, I'm on, they, Facebook let me know I am on a throttled or shadow ban state, not jail, but not as many people are seeing my stuff, and it's very noticeable, but um, when I posted pictures with my wife and her beautiful dress, she broke the internet, and, you know, uh, it's it's kind of cool, but um, great anniversary to be married a year, and we're working on some big projects, and to reach our goals, and live to the plus so that's what i want to kind of talk about uh last week i was talking about the laws and so like there's these natural 12 natural laws of the universe and then um in my newsletter i wrote about like how all these things like affect our lives like you know marketing uh, punching in and out, of, you know, working a job versus doing what we love or what our potential is, you know, keeping up with the Joneses, stuff like that all affects our life, right? And so kind of want to go in further. So that's what I call the real life matrix, right? So talked about it before my podcast and stuff, but you really think about it we are we do live in the matrix right because so you know we're born and we have to go to school and um, well first we're born and we grow up and um, you know like I was an active kid and you know how many times that hurt hey don't do that don't do that you know you have too much energy you know, stop asking questions, you know, like like that, right? So, if you think about it, you know, it seems kind of, you know, minor. That's what parents do, you know, they correct their kids. But in all reality, you know, they're limiting the kid, right? And I'm not saying that you're not supposed to, you know, correct your kid and teach your kid how to behave in society. But it's also starting that matrix of the mind of that kid, right? Limiting. Um, So to fast forward a little bit, living to the plus is me realizing that and trying to get out of that, right? So, but then you go to school and, you know, you hear a lot about indoctrination and you don't know what all they're teaching your kids and is it really the truth or is it really what the kids should be learning? But like me, I had a different learning style, and I was felt to be stupid or not dumb and, you know, ADHD and given um, Ritalin and given special time and, you know, made to be different than the other classmates, the the fit in the box classmates, you know, the, you know, the prissy or the hall monitor or the A student or the, you know, the list goes on, right? So again, you're, you're forming this matrix over the mind of, you know, oh, well, I'm supposed to fit into this, you know, and so at an early age, you know, I felt, well, I'm just trying to be me, and it's like, this doesn't make sense, it's like, is this right, you know, like, should I be felt like I'm inadequate, I'm a person here, just like this other guy, 
you know, why am I felt to be like an individual versus having to fit into a box, right? So there again, right? So then you finish school and, oh, you're supposed to get married and you're supposed to have kids and you're supposed to go to college and you're supposed to have a job and all these things create this box around you, right? And like you need to fit into this this box, right? And then um, you take the sick care system. So you get sick sometime and you get caught in the sick care system and you have that debt and you know, you don't know what they're giving you that it is it actually promoting health or is it gonna cause um, side effects that then you have to take more medication and more bills, more medical bills, and so you're caught in that matrix. And then there's the credit and debt debt system, right? And so most people operate off credit and most people operate in debt. And you know, um, I think the average person has twenty to forty thousand dollars of debt, right? And so you're in that matrix, that that limitation, that jail, right? And so, if you get, ever get caught in the legal system, you get caught in that. You know, I was part of, and caught in that for a, a while, right? Um, you know, the list goes on. All these things that are systems and formed around our life that that are limiting us or trying to make us fit into a box where we're an, uh, a being of light, of energy, of ideas and thoughts and throughout our whole life um that's limiting right so i kind of just did a quick google and there's other people out here that talk about this and stuff but so i found an article um alden tan um so he talks about how to escape the matrix in this life um so he cusses a little bit, but he has some very valid points in here. Um, right? So the Matrix hides the truth from humanity, allowing them to live a convincing, simulated life while machines grow and harvest people to use as an ongoing energy source, right? So that's part of the movie, but you apply it to life, you know, so hides the truth from humanity, allowing them to live a convincing simulated life right so that's kind of what i'm talking about um are we living the life that we really can or are we putting this work all these systems that i just mentioned put in, putting you in a box that you have a simulated life right it's what society thinks our life should be what our life is supposed to be versus what it can be or what it actually should be, right? And so, uh, what is the modern day matrix? Uh, this is the lie of life as more important things like passion, following your heart, believing in yourself, or just being happy aren't deemed important, right? The bigger lie is that people think this is very normal. And that is the blunt truth, right? So we're living what we think is normal, but um, in all actuality, we've been put in this box to not live our real life, you know, that we're destined, you know, that we should be, you know, that to reach our potential, right? So <clears throat> just an example, right? Uh, I have a job and I'm very good at my job, if you look at my statistics and matrix, right, maybe one of the best, um, right, maybe in the company, the state, I don't know, but uh, I look at my job a little bit different than other people, right, and um, I, I ask a lot of questions, right, and so um, things in my past, like legal issues, um, maybe voicing my opinion, asking too many questions has put barriers in me advancing 
in my career, I feel. that That's just an assumption, right? But uh, I feel I have a whole lot more potential um, to help um, my facility, my, the company, you know, everybody, because um, I have a lot of ideas and look at safety and health and all that a little bit differently. So um, I feel that that's a matrix for me is that, you know, I'm trying to f live to the plus and reach my potential that I feel like I'm contributing what I have inside of me. That, I don't know if that makes sense, right? So uh, the matrix way of life, right? So I already mentioned study in school, grow up, get a job, get money, right? These are all material things that we're connected to that we feel like that it, it has to we have to have these things to live a normal life, right? So, uh, you know, I don't try to get political with these videos or my my um, newsletter, right? Um, I do post things on social media, mostly for shock value, to make people think, think out of the box, say, oh, well, you know, some some things are funny. Right, but so I'm gonna talk about the truckers, right? And so my biggest interest with the truckers is so you know there's a whole bunch of truckers in an in area, right? And they've been there for weeks, and um, you know maybe some of them brought a bag lunch, you know, to when they started the the peaceful protest, you know. But you still gotta feed all those people, and it's super cold and how they stay warm and all that stuff but so I feel like if we ever break out of this matrix right and the, the two couple key things is we're all individuals we all have a contribution and then if we all practice being individuals but we not form identity politics but groups you know regroup and you know tribes right so the truckers right now have a tribe you know there's external things people coming in and bringing food and warmth and shelter and support and if you look at my getter I post some of the videos they're just having a a big party right you know and so you know people are there you know that some of them aren't doing their job so they don't have an income and then they're they're messing with their fundraising but they're over there surviving and having a blast and standing up for freedom right so that's pretty amazing so that to me is the beginning of breaking out of this matrix this system that we're supposed to fit into right I, I don't know if that makes sense okay so you grow up and do what you're expected to do because you're you are told to do it and then you start to believe that is what you're supposed to do right so earlier in this video I mentioned a bunch of things that limit you or tell you what you're supposed to be right then you tell yourself all this is normal because everyone else is doing it that way, right? Um, so, so something is missing in the matrix. The blind has been pulled over your eyes, right? You re can't really see with your heart. You stop believing in yourself. You think you can't amount to anything great, like those rich guys right so how many of us you know there's the top one percent that are really rich and then there's maybe five to ten percent of people that are wealthy you know have the nice houses have the nice cars you know right but the majority of us are like well what do I gotta do to make it right and so I think that's the biggest jail of humanity is that you know, so like I'm a good person. I'm a hardworking person. I'm, I'm pretty smart. Uh, I do.
do good at my job, but I save lives for my job. So, um, why I, why haven't I made it like the way I think I should, right? And how many other people think about that? Like, they go through life waiting for that day where they're gonna make it, and they not have to worry about money and bills and and you know if the car is gonna break down, you know stuff like that, right? And so most of us go through life with all that. You stop believing in yourself, you know, or, um, because you aren't as lucky as them and you're not as special, the rich guys, right? You forget about following your passion or doing what you love due to circumstances or a bunch of excuses, which you call reasons. You care too much about what others think. As such, the classic line comes to you in your head or whatever something is missing right so i felt my whole life something is missing right in life not just me but in life in general it's like why do we live this way you know why why the majority of the people go through life struggling and going to a job and taking their kids to the daycare and not being in their daily lives and it's just not how life's supposed to be right so then you tell yourself it's okay, you see minor comfort from your surroundings since it's very, very normal, you stop caring to embrace who you truly are. Then some, some even end up depressed, right? So, so what is real? Uh, what is real can always be up to you. What you see and how you live <clears throat> is up to you, but it is very important to follow your heart and recognize what you are to yourself and not just to the world right so so i've done a lot of writing over the last few years i wrote my book and um self-authoring right and so that i did a lot of reflecting on who i really am and that's how i got a lot of these ideas that i'm mentioning right now is so i'm very familiar with who I think I am versus <clears throat> what the world thinks of me or other people think of me, right? Um, so how to escape, right? So one, start believing in yourself, right? Um, I recommend doing a self-reflection, some kind of writing or review exercise. So go to selfauthoring.com, Jordan Peters Self-Authoring. That's not writing a book. It's writing your life. All right? Check it out. But start believing in yourself. Right? Uh, stop believing what other people tell you. The judgment of others. You know, all, stop all, all that. Then find your passion, right? So what's my passion, right? I've determined my passion is trying to live to the plus, right? Trying, trying to improve my life to fit out of the box that I've, you know, that we've all created around ourselves, you know, to reach our goals. So these, these videos, my podcast, writing, is all me trying to uh, live to the plus, to share the message, to still figure it out for myself, right? So all this is journaling and documenting me finding myself to live to the plus and sharing it with you, right? So, um, so go for your passion, right? Uh, where's number three? Uh, shoot. Okay, number three. Yeah, find your passion. I guess he missed missed the word. Okay. Um. Don't, don't believe what others think. You know, he used it an explicit word, word. Don't give a muck about what others think. You know, go f follow your heart, follow your passion, right? Do epic shit, right? So I've swam across lakes. I've run around the circle 2,019 2, times, you know. Um, I'm in a huge project with my wife, and I'm focused on that. And get, once we get over that hurdle and settled 
I'm gonna just determine what's the next epic thing that I'm gonna do, you know? I need to get in the better shape again and, and then figure out how I can test my limits as a 44, 45 year old, right? Um, so I've always said help others, right? So pay it forward, um, serve others, right? So if you're always focused on the income and the success and the abundance of you, you're just being selfish, you find through service to others the success and the abundance right so that's what I'm really focused on right just recognize that you have a choice you know um, right so we have a choice um, to live to the plus to get out of the matrix to break out of the box that has been put in around us right so again, that that article was Alden Tan, um, AldenTans.medium.com. It's a blog. So um, I just could relate to that, and I thought it was awesome. And um, I just wanted to affirm that other people think how I am, right? So um, I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna record this onto the podcast, so you know the audio version. I'm not gonna do two separate. I might add something into the podcast, uh, maybe another video or something, but uh, um, just believe in yourself. Don't believe what other people say that you should do this or you have to do this or don't say that or don't think that, right? There's been a lot of that going on in the last two years, right? I've been told many, many times, you know, oh, you shouldn't post that or, you no, don't say that or da 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 da, da right? But also take responsibility, right? Find your faults, find your, your part in whatever is going on in your life or challenge and then determine one thing you can do to overcome that, to change that. One thing a day that you can work on to change, you know, you fitting in a box, right? What can you change to reach your ultimate goal, to reach your ultimate potential, to chase your dream, to chase, follow your passion in your heart, to live to the plug.